In this video, I'm going to show you how to use one of our digital assessment trackers. First thing I want you to do is adjust the zoom and 75% is typically best. Now I can see everything on this first tab. Now you should have your goal setting card in front of you and we're going to take that information and fill it in on our tracker starting with star 2024. So from my card, I'm going to type in that I got a 58 and that was equivalent to meets performance. Next thing I want to do is set up what this tracker is for. I am setting this up for my eighth grade math class. And by the end of the school year, I need to hit meets grade level. And then that tells me I need to be at a 62%. Next thing I want to do is fill in the information for my map test. So down in the bottom left on the drop down menu, again, I want to choose the course and grade level I'm filling this in for. So eighth grade math. Then next to BOY, I want to type in the RIT score. And I got a 225. When I press enter, it gives me an estimated percent equivalent as well as an estimated performance level. I'm going to go ahead and start listing that in my assessment tracker. So under the assessment column, I'm going to type in MAP BOY. I'm going to type in my percent score without the percent symbol. So I got a 57. And then I'm going to choose a quick reflection. And I'm reflecting on how my MAP BOY compares to my star score from last year. So I would say it's almost there. Okay, next thing I want to do is set up my tracker for my first unit assessment. So I'm going to type in under the assessment column, unit one. On the right side of my tracker, I can go ahead and set up some short term goals. So if my goal by the end of the year is to get a 62%, I want to think of something that would make sense for my unit one test, knowing that I'm currently sitting at a 57 from MAP. And you wanna think of it as Goldilocks and the three bears, something that's not too high or not too low, but just right. So for my unit one test, I'm gonna give myself a goal of a 60. From that, I'm gonna set up the rest of my tracker I'm going to use this red bar down here. The red bar coincides with this first goal, which is also red. So I'm going to click that bar and then I'm going to click and drag it to the 60. That's my first goal. In the left side, I'm going to set up next to my unit one test that I'm shooting for a 60. And then I'm going to set a focus for this test, something that I can strive for for this first unit test. It can be either academic or behavioral. So one thing I struggle with in class is using scratch paper. So that's what I'm going to make sure I focus on. That means I'm going to make sure I use scratch paper every day during my lessons, as well as during any assessments. Okay, we're going to fast forward and we have taken our unit one assessment. So what we're going to do is log back into AWARE. And to do that, you have two options. You can either go in through the launch pad to find AWARE online testing, or you can go to 
tinyurl.com slash NEISD test. You'll log in with your ID number and your birth date. Now that I've logged in, to view any scores, I'm going to go to the second tab labeled My Test Scores. And one thing you may want to start using is this drop down menu to filter by subject. I'm going to go to the test I just took. This one is called Student Goal Setting. And I'm going to take a look. It tells me the percent score I got. I got a 63. So I'm going to take that information and I'm going to type it in my tracker. So I got a 63. Because I hit my goal, it turned green. I'm going to do my quick reflection and say I met my goal. And then before I go further into AWARE, I want to click this button called Rename Sheet. The first time you do it, it's going to ask for authorization. You're going to select your Google account and you're going to tell it to allow. Because I had to give it authorization, I'm going to click the button one more time. And then I want you to notice here at the bottom, the names of those sheets are going to adjust and they adjust based upon what you type in this assessment column. So I'm gonna to go to my Unit 1 tab, because that's what we're focusing on. And the first thing I'm gonna do is list how many questions there were on this test. So to find that out, I'm gonna go back to my AWARE page, and I'm gonna click on the test that I'm reflecting on. So this test had eight questions. Next thing I'm gonna look at for my questions are, I'm gonna go ahead and choose my results. You either have correct, partial, or incorrect. So let's go take a look. It gives you a key at the top. So I've got correct on one, two, three, seven, eight. And then incorrect were four, five, and six. Okay, I'm going to start with question one. And another thing I want to fill in in my tracker is my confidence rating. So when I was taking the test, I felt very confident and I said, I got it. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to match the emoji. And then I'm going to tell myself why I got it correct. And I'm going to say, I really got this. Because I got it correct, I'm not going to worry about what would my new answer be and why. Number two, I'm going to go check my confidence rating. So I'm going to go to number two. Again, my confidence was I got it. And I'm, I know this stuff. So let's go to the ones I got incorrect, like number four. Number four, first off, my confidence rating was I'm still learning. So I'm in the middle for number four. So then let's look at, well, why did I get it incorrect? So I'm going to review the passage that I needed to read and then the question. So it asks me, what is the meaning of the phrase, have the knack? I chose a spin. So I'm going to review this and rethink, well, what should it have been? And once I know the answer, 
I'm going to first say, well, I maybe I didn't understand some of the words. And I'm going to say, my new answer is blank because blank. And then I'm going to complete that for the rest of my questions. Now, my teacher told me the essentials on this one were three, seven, and eight. So down at the bottom, it asks me, how did I perform on those essentials? I did pretty well on those essentials. And I'm going to explain. I really knew what the essential questions were asking. I'm ready for more. Next thing, I'm going to fill out my resources. My resources I used and found helpful. My resources I did not use and no longer need. So I'm going to talk about some of the resources I used and found helpful. I used my scratch paper and will continue using it because I met my goal. Resources I did not use and no longer need. Um, this time I'm not really sure, so I'm going to put none. Next thing I'm going to talk about is my plan. So what do I want to keep and change about my behavior in class? What do I want to keep and change about my participation in class? Next, I want to talk about the environment. So these two drop down menus have the exact same thing, but you have two things you can choose if you'd like. So maybe the room was too cold or too warm. It was too cold. Next time I need to bring a sweater. And then what is it I need to work on? Well, based upon my results, I need to work on these questions that were labeled as non-essential. So not that they weren't important, but I still have work to do. So can I do this by myself? Mm, maybe so. And then I didn't put no here. So have I reached my goal? If so, how do I know? And should I adjust my goal? I did reach my goal. and I will adjust it higher. So because I reached my goal, I'm going to go back to my data page and I'm going to go ahead and set up for my unit two. So unit two, because I met my goal of 60, I'm going to up it and I'm going to say, you know what, for the next one, I'm going to reach for a 65. So I typed in my 65. I'm going to use this yellow bar at the bottom to set my goal. Over here on the left, I'm going to choose 65. And then my focus for this test is I'm going to ask questions during class. Okay, and this is how you use your data tracker.